Hello everyone, and uh, yes, the free-to-play account. Why? Because uh, I've ran out of premium time on my main account and I am too big of a Jew to... I can do it, yes I can, because I am a Jewish American. Renew it, and I don't want to give my money to Wargaming just for the premium time, and I'm not even playing that much. So I'm just playing on this account, and somebody requested if I could play an auto-loading tank. I asked if this T-69 is okay at tier 8. It's okay and, uh, well, here we are, I guess. I started grinding the T-71, I just wanted one light tank to complete the light missions, because those are fairly easy uh, on the Stug for the, first, uh, for the first one, but I'm having troubles because I don't have six cents now. Let's try to whack this guy. It's one, two, one more, come on. Yes, that was three out of four. I'm perfectly happy with that. So, I still don't have six cents, but I have upgraded everything that is upgradable on this tank. I'm gonna go in right now. And it is, it's not the best tank, well, by far. And it's not the worst tank. You have 181 penetration with regular AP shells and 250 with heat. So if you're grinding this, definitely, definitely load on heat shells. Otherwise, you're gonna have a bad time playing versus tier 10s and uh, critical hit. All right. I'm sorry, I can talk and play at the same time. And I'm not a woman because you know men can't multitask. That's uh, that's a fact. All right, so. Uh, 250 on the premium ammo, like I said, if you're playing this, grinding this, definitely load up on premium ammo, otherwise you're gonna have a really bad time in tier, eight, tier 9, tier 10 battles, especially on city maps, and if your team sucks, then, well, pff, you're gonna have a bad, 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 very, 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 very bad time, alright, so, otherwise this tank, I don't know, aims forever, um, but it, 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 it shoots fast, you know, so that's okay. But otherwise, it's not fast, it's not the most mobile. It's very, very average. An average Joe, if you could call it like that. So yeah, come on, baby, come on. I know you want, yes, there we go. There's the Scorpion G behind the house. Can't really hit it, so very decent and average thing. That's the Borsik that hit me, and he's way, way, way back over there. We're still doing quite okay, but I would really prefer if they could spot something in the back. Now this guy, maybe I could, maybe I could shoot this guy. So I don't know why. Why am I even grinding this line? I have no idea because the T57 is also not the best tank in this game, you know. And, uh, well, because of that reason, I mean, I am grinding the, 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 the Russian heavies now. I'm at the KV-85, so, I don't know. I'll just slowly grind this tank to get 6 cents and then get to the tier 9 and T-57. I don't know. T-57 probably blows without premium ammo, so I'm, we'll see about that when we get there, all right? And I'll tell you the, my feelings about that tank when I get there. Now, let's... Let's try to... Alright. We don't need an ammo rack where we're going. Okay, I think I have my... I think I have a lot of support in the back. This guy is gonna come in. That's one. I'm just gonna auto-aim him. That's two. I need to repair my ammo rack. That's three. Four. Please step and out! Actually, somebody helped me, so yeah. Pretty much how you play this tank is very patient at the beginning, like every auto, this applies to every auto loader. You play it very, very carefully at the beginning of the game. Uh, try to conserve your HP so you can trade in the end when people are lower on their HP and you can go in and out trade them. And never go alone, never, 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 never go alone with an auto loader tank because as soon as you start reloading, well, you will have a really, really bad time. Now. What's up with these critical hits today? Alright, whatever. It doesn't matter, it's still a good game. Two frags and uh, 2.8k of damage. 1.3k of assisted peasant damage and I'm perfectly, I'm perfectly content with this uh, outcome in this game. 
Now why is nobody killing this guy? Maybe I should just ram him. Nobody wants to kill him. Nope! The panther killed me. Why did I do that? I have no idea. I could have just stayed and, uh, in the cover and farmed this panther too and got more experience, but... Well, you can have everything when you are have had it with half of your mind not in the game right now. Maybe, maybe in the next game will be a little bit better, but... I got lucky that my team didn't go on the beach on this map because on the Overlord, if your team goes to the beach, well, it's safe to assume they're retarded. Okay, so all enemy vehicles destroyed. Let's check the post-game stats. Okay, so that wasn't an ace tanker, which is pretty uh, obvious. And uh, actually got more damage than I thought, 3.1k with 1.2k assisted and topped by base experience, which is pretty good. I only got 7.6k of standard, uh, I mean regular credits because I don't have a premium account, but at the same time I do have 6.6 .6 million, yes. So, I think it's safe to go round two.